What's up guys, I'm Mike, and this is the Great Outside Channel. Alright, in today's video, we are going to review the Hike and Bike Zion 2 person. There's a tent site right behind me with part of it on there already. I am at Annapolis Rock on the Appalachian Trail in the Maryland section. I've been using this for nine months, off and on. It's a beast, and uh, I'm going to show you why. So we will set it up on hat cam so you can get a first person view, little POV. Not that kind of POV, but I like the way you think. What you see behind me are the components, uh, minus a stake pusher. Like I said, I've had this a while. It's about yay big around, made out of aluminum. Has a little center piece in the middle that's uh, recessed. So you can put the tip of your stake in there and push it in. I don't have it easy to lose <laughs> so beware of that so you're gonna have to bear with me it's not a brand new tent review this is a real use review comes with its own ground cloth just make sure that your buckles are facing upright already see I'm gonna have to make some concessions here it's not quite big enough this is a big tent again this is the two person this is the easiest way to do it but you can do it in different ways you can use just the shell and I'm gonna show you how and why I don't know how many other companies are doing anything like this design with the corners, but I like it. And I like that it comes with its own ground cloth. It's very useful. One piece poles. Now, if you're using just the shell, ultralight style, no insert, you're going to use this buckle to buckle the top to, the rain fly. But, since I'm using the insert, I'm going to use this buckle. So you go ahead and put through both of those. That can be a little bit tedious to get to stay sometimes. Too bad. Normally I stake my bottoms down, but since I can't, I don't know exactly where it's gonna be just yet. I'm gonna have to move it around. Just gonna have to make it work. All right, clip it up real quick. Goes there. Clip. I want this up top this time. No, I don't. If you can hear the voices in the background, there are people here because I'm on the Appalachian Trail and people like to hike. So I forgot my other one over there. I have to go around and get it. Here we go. Bam. Okay, there's your insert right there. You got four guy lines. I really like these guy lines. You got 12 stakes. It's a little excessive, 
you can tell that they bend easy this is just for me kicking it i'm about 180 pounds um they're short really sharp they got a lot of sharp edges you got to be careful but other than that they're great they are perfect for this and they're really lightweight too um, i am going to go ahead and guy this out i don't usually actually i've never have but i'm going to do it for the purposes of the video I like my stuff nice and tight. Not just for videos. <clears throat> Not always, but. <sighs> All right, now for the rain fly. It's still wet. It was raining this morning. So, you know, this, this is all dirty. I've been using this. This is why I think it'll make a good review. Now we're coming to get it. Get her straightened out here. Okay, everything's basically in place. You want these loosened up a little bit so you can make sure it's even. And this is where this comes into play. Kablamo. You know what? We could do either. So we'll do this one on the outside. Hopefully you get how this works with just the tent shell. Okay, so we got about that much room. I'll bring this down a little bit. I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to tie at least a couple on the inside to make it nice looking for the video. If you couldn't tell by my description, this is how the pusher works. The Velcro on this works really well, even when you get it full of great Pyrenees dog hair. See if I can stretch it out here. This is your guy line that it comes with. I love these locks. You just do that, get it where you want it, lock. I like that. Just because <clears throat> I, I like to tie loops at the end of mine, you can do it whatever, however you want. I'm just using some toggles that I'm making here. that here's your lock all right I can bike Zion 2 fully deployed vents open the vents have these regular things but they don't stay stiff so you kind of got to Put it in reverse, get it on there and just get it to stay. Shoot. Toggles, man, what are you gonna do, you know? So I already told you it comes with its own ground cloth. Showed you how that snaps in. Now it comes with this gear loft and it also has a hook in the center. Um, so you don't have to use a gear loft. <clears throat> this thing is huge inside for a two person. Uh, this is, I'm 5'9". You can see how much room there is in here. This thing is spacious. It's also 6.7 pounds with the 5,000 PU rating. Now, I'd like to take this moment to encourage you to stay around to the end of the video. Um, I did a big snow test and forgot it and let it get crushed twice previous to this. 
and it still works great and uh, I'm gonna show you a bunch of clips inside when it's packed and what it looks like tonight while we're in there that should uh, pretty much cover most questions Got my setup, bags under there, sleeping bag and whatnot. I bring this little throw for her. her. Okay, now here you can see how clean and straight all the lines are. It's nice. Here it is in all its glory. Sun's going down. I just put my hiking sticks there. Had to make a concession on this side. All right, reflective. Yeah, there you have it. Nighttime. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about this tent real quick. I'm pretty sure I covered all the specs, but just in case, it's a 5,000 PU rating. Two person, really two and a half, because it's humongous. And uh, that's the only decent color, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's just my personal opinion. I mean, no offense, especially to the makers. I just, I can't stand, like, bright colors. I just don't. It's a decent forest green. Um... If it's hot, there's very little uh, air coming through there, but it works really well for three season. Uh, I used it for four. I wouldn't necessarily suggest that. Um, it's a tank, it's a great tent. The only way that you should really backpack with it, in my opinion, is if you split it with another person, then it becomes ultra light. Um, if you're one person, it's ultra heavy, being 6.7 pounds. That's heavy as hell for one person to carry around a tent, and it's huge. Um, you can break it into pieces. You can do just the net, or you can do just the shell, which is really handy. Uh, it, like I said before, it comes with the gear loft and the ground cloth. But in, in general, it's humongous for one person. I have a giant dog, and I literally put the rain fly and the stakes and stuff in her bag so it leaves me with three maybe three and a quarter pounds to carry so two people beautiful otherwise i would suggest it for car camping but i would definitely suggest it when i bought mine it was a hundred bucks now they're up around 130 140 uh, don't quote me on that because you know prices are always changing totally worth 130 140 i got really lucky and bought mine for a hundred when you know before the pandemic um yeah great construction waterproof as hell like i said at the end of, uh you're gonna see a bunch of clips of this thing in the snow and everything else if you're interested so i encourage you to stick around uh, and that's it please like and subscribe for more videos like this one thank you very much for watching and uh go outside challenge yourself it's great you won't regret it Just use the shell. Ginormous, clearly. <sighs> That's where the bug net would stop. I suppose I should have come out yesterday. Oops. Well, the snowstorm's done. So I'm just going to leave it. I'll come out tomorrow and assess the damage. It's not going to change anything right now. It did not mean for that to happen. We'll see.